Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm giving you your daily reminder to stay hydrated. So for today's video, I am going to be talking about all of my very favorite vegan replacement products. I have a lot of people that reach out to me saying that they could be vegan, except they love cheese too much, or they love bacon too much. And to that, I will say two different things. This is probably a controversial vegan opinion, but it's my channel. My opinion is that if you can go vegan except for cheese, then do it. Don't give up cheese. The journey to veganism is a marathon, not a sprint. It's possible to go vegan overnight, but you probably will find more success if you wean yourself into the lifestyle. Of course, in my ideal world, no one would ever eat meat or dairy products again, but don't be afraid to slowly transition into veganism without being 100% vegan. I'm that vegan that's going to give you permission. <laughs> Alrighty, the products I'm going to talk about today are products I consider substitutions to animal-based products that taste and feel pretty similar. These are also products that are intended to be vegan, not accidentally vegan, and truly are made to mimic their animal-based counterpart. A lot of vegan products should be taken as they are rather than compared to their animal product counterpart. For example, cauliflower wings as a substitute for buffalo wings. That's not the kind of stuff I'm going to be talking about today. While those things are amazing, I'm talking about mock dairy and meat products. This video is not sponsored. These are all products that I genuinely love and I want to share with you guys because I think that these do a really good job at mimicking real animal products and will help you transition towards a more cruelty-free lifestyle without giving up the foods and the flavors that you crave and that you love. We are going to start with fake meat. Impossible Meat has just started selling in the stores and an Impossible Burger tastes next to the same as a beef burger. Beyond Meat also sells in grocery stores and while they have really good burgers, I love their brats and their sausages even more, especially the Italian sausage. It is so flavorful and amazing. It's perfect for grilling and barbecues. Gardein is probably my favorite vegan meat company. Honestly, every single product they have is incredible. So I'm just going to list a few of my favorites. Their orange chicken tastes exactly like takeout. Their fish fillets are perfect for your classic British fish and chips meal. Their barbecue wings, they have a few flavors of barbecue wings. I know that their sweet and tangy one is amazing. And obviously their chicken nuggets. Corn has a few really good chicken products as well, but you have to be careful because they're slowly transitioning to vegan from vegetarianism. You gotta read the label to make sure there's no eggs in these products, but they have really good spicy chicken patties. It tastes like a McChicken. And they also have these meatless pieces. It's basically little chicken cubes that I really like to put in soup. It makes a beautiful chicken soup. And you could also put it in stuff like chicken salad. Now this is my favorite 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 meatball of all time i grew up on meatballs i'm italian i would roll meatballs with my grandma as a kid so i am very particular and picky about meatballs but earth-grown italian meatballs are life-changing if you have not had them i guarantee you will not be able to tell that they're vegan they are so freaking good. They're perfect for meatball subs. I sometimes crumble it up, put it on pizza, obviously spaghetti and meatballs, any kind of pasta dish. They're only sold at Aldi. Truly the best meatballs, incomparable to any other brand. Sweet Earth has a really nice bacon. I will say the texture is a little bit different from real bacon. It doesn't get quite as crispy, but the flavor is really smoky. It's really full. It's perfect to put on sandwiches or in the morning with vegan eggs and potatoes. Light Life hot dogs taste exactly like good old hot dogs you would get at the baseball games or hot dogs you would get at the movie theater or on the streets of New York when you load it up with the toppings Chicago style Duh. All of my non-vegan friends who have had these hot dogs said that they couldn't tell a difference. I've also made pigs in a blanket with them. I served them at a Super Bowl party with a ton of non-vegans and nobody knew that they were vegan hot dogs. Tofurky has these ham deli slices that aren't incredible when you eat them alone, but when you put them on a sandwich, they just taste like a good homemade sandwich. 
Field Roast also has a ton of different deli slices. These ones aren't necessarily made to mimic the flavor of meat, but they're just really, really good for your sandwiches, and I highly recommend them anyway. No Evil has a really good vegan chorizo, and if you can't find that brand, Trader Joe's also makes their own vegan chorizo as well. It's a little bit spicy, you can put it in lasagna, you can put it on pizza, you can put it in chili. It adds a world of flavor to whatever dishes you're adding the chorizo to. Ooh, also Upton Seitan crumbles as well into that category. This is a little off the beaten path, but there's this company called Louisville Vegan Jerky and they make vegan beef jerky. I actually have never tried this product, but I have heard nothing but raving reviews on it, that the texture is wonderful, that it tastes just as good as beef jerky. And then lastly, I guess this isn't technically meat, but Just Egg makes a spot on liquid egg that you can make omelets with, scrambled eggs with. It smells and tastes exactly like real eggs. Okay, we're going to move on to our cheese and dairy section. I've always been very easily impressed by fake meat. I find it a little bit harder to be impressed by vegan cheeses. So these are the brands that I really do like and think that you should give a try. My personal favorite vegan cheese of all time is chow cheese. I love chow because you can eat it raw and it tastes like real cheese. You can eat it on crackers, you can put it in mac and cheese, you can put it on sandwiches, you can make grilled cheese with it. It melts really nicely. I just think that it's a top tier brand of vegan cheese. Ranking a little bit under chow is Miyoko's. Their cheddar slices are really good for grilled cheeses. Not incredible raw, but still tasty. Miyoko's pepper jack is really good raw. Follow Your Heart makes a really good vegan parmesan, like the crumbly stuff that you put on top of pasta. The consistency and texture of it is really spot on. It has kind of that sharp flavor that parmesan has. It's, it's really good. Violife is my go-to brand for when I'm making pizza because their mozzarella shreds are really yummy. It melts really nicely. It's not that weird, ooey, gooey stuff that gets stuck on the roof of your mouth. It's actually really good. <laughs> I've actually never tried this, but again, I've heard amazing reviews on it, which is Kite Hill Cream Cheese. I never had cream cheese before I went vegan, so I don't eat it now, but I've heard amazing things. It tastes great on bagels and crackers, and it spreads really, really nicely. Earth Balance Butter is my go-to brand for vegan butter. I use it for baking, cooking, and just spreading plain on toast and stuff like that. It basically just tastes like margarine, and it's a perfect substitute for all of your butter needs. Viennese is my favorite mayonnaise replacement. Again, I didn't eat that much mayonnaise before I went vegan, but I like using this in chickpea salad and as an addition to my recipes. Tofuti has some pretty good sour cream. I put it on tacos and burritos, stuff like that. It really has that dollop consistency, which is spot on. So Delicious is my favorite brand of vegan yogurt. This stuff tastes just like the real deal. It has all the same probiotics as dairy yogurt does. It's a little bit tangy like dairy yogurt is too, and it's super duper creamy. This is top tier yogurt. And I'm not a coffee drinker, but my parents swear by this stuff. So Delicious makes a really good creamer for your coffee. All right, on to my favorite category, which is dessert. So Delicious's products are so delicious. They have a Cocoa Whip, which tastes and feels exactly like Cool Whip. Their pints of ice cream are absolutely incredible. They're creamy, they're rich, they're not icy, and they just taste real. Their ice cream bars are also heavenly. Also, I'm a Ben & Jerry's girl. I love Ben & Jerry's non-dairy, similar to So Delicious. It's really thick, it's super duper creamy. In my opinion, tastes exactly the same as their non-dairy versions. Tofuti makes really good ice cream sandwiches. These babies are super duper nostalgic. I don't know about you, but I had them all the time when I was a kid, and they taste like childhood. <laughs> Annie's, Annie's, Annie's knew what's up. Annie's made us some cinnamon rolls, just like Pillsbury. You pop them out of the thing, you pop them in the oven. Fluffy, delicious, cinnamony, gooey, beautiful. Eat Pastry is a vegan cookie dough brand. Tastes exactly the same as your good old Toll House cookie dough. Dandies is a vegan marshmallow brand. They have mini marshmallows, big marshmallows, and a handful of different flavors as well, like pumpkin and pumpkin. 
They're ooey gooey, you can put them in s'mores, you can make rice crispy treats with them, both of which I have done, both of which are a hit. Unreal M&Ms are unreal. They taste exactly like M&Ms. And same with Justin's peanut butter cups, just like Reese's. No Way Chocolates is a vegan chocolate company and their vegan milk chocolate tastes exactly like Hershey's. I haven't had Hershey's in a really long time and I was thrown back when I had No Way Chocolate, especially because as a vegan, you get accustomed to eating dark chocolate a lot, which is delicious and I love, but to have milk chocolate again, it hit different. Cocomel Chocolate Caramel Bites. The caramel is like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it is, it's caramel, but it's vegan. Caramel. They're like vegan Rolos, 10 out of 10. And finally, we have our miscellaneous category. So if you're really craving a frozen pizza, you don't wanna make one, you can grab a Sweet Earth Veggie Lovers pizza, pop that baby in the oven, and you have a delicious vegan frozen pizza. Vegan Rob's have these really good cheddar puffs. They taste like puffy Cheetos, but there's no dairy in it. Earth Balance makes these cheddar crackers, which are vegan Cheez-Its, and they taste like Cheez-Its, so what more could you ask for? Again, I hype up Gardein a lot, but they have these frozen pockets. They have like barbecue jackfruit ones that taste like pulled pork. They have tofu scramble ones, which taste like scrambled eggs in like a hot pocket form. They're super easy grab and go, and they, they taste so good. And finally, we're gonna wrap it up with another Trader Joe's product. They have vegetable gyoza. I might have said that wrong, but they're dumplings. I would die for dumplings. I love dumplings so much. So if you go vegan, you don't have to give up dumplings. Alrighty guys, so that wraps up all of my favorite products. I highly recommend that you try these products with an open mind. I do think that they are very similar to their non-vegan counterparts. If you like this video and you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite vegan products are or if you agree with my opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Friday.